We've still got the storms in the forecast, Molly. This morning, we're tracking the rain up across north central Iowa. Very heavy rain just southeast of Algona, moving through Livermore, and it's been slowly trying to spread its way to the northeast. Going to be affecting Garner over toward Forest City. Humboldt, it looks like a little new cell is now trying to develop over town. Algona, you may just miss out, but you'll see all of the lightning strikes off to your southeast. Also near Grinnell, Sully over toward Montezuma, New Sharon. Another slow moving, very heavy rain producing system there, working its way up to the northeast. We've seen some scattered showers across the rest of central Iowa, but nothing approaching the metro area right now. Algona just south of town there with that thunder shower near Livermore. Over two inches of rain has been indicated by radar across southeast Iowa with the one near Grinnell. Nearly two, possibly three inches of rain in some locations, and you can see all the rainfall was very heavy last evening down near Diagonal. They picked up over five inches of rain, and that led to flash flooding concerns too. This midday, most of the heavy rainfall is concentrated in these two pockets with scattered showers right along Highway 30. It's all lifting up to the northeast. We'll see a few more thunder showers developing across southern Iowa this afternoon. Our best chances to see the rainfall here in the metro would come this afternoon and into the early evening hours. Then after the sun sets, the weather should settle down for a few hours. High City will be in the 80s, cooling very slowly back through the 70s. We're not going to be done with the rain just yet. By 730, still lingering chances for spotty showers and thunderstorms, especially south of I-80 is what it's looking like the best chances for rain are this evening. As we head toward tomorrow morning. Additional thunderstorms will be developing and that will continue throughout the afternoon. Very spotty, but if you get a thunder shower, expect very heavy rainfall. Notice by 9 p.m. Tuesday, improving weather moves in from the north as those thunderstorms begin to head out to the south. Now, we're not expecting widespread severe weather, but with any of the stronger ones, flash flooding rains are the biggest concern, followed by some small hail and possibly even some gusty winds, too. The reason for it, we've got a cold front that's marching its way toward us, so all those thunderstorms will be bubbling up right along and ahead of this cold front. Tomorrow, it'll start to work its way southward through the state, so by 6 p.m., it may be just moving through the metro. And until we get that high pressure to build in, the weather won't be settling down until probably early on Wednesday morning. Right now we've got the overcast skies. No raindrops in Des Moines. It's really muggy, feeling tropical. 79 the temp, the dew point, a muggy 73 degrees. Highs will be pretty tricky today. Probably not expecting much sunshine, so readings will be in the 70s to near 82 degrees. Off and on, thunderstorms are likely with heavy rainfall the biggest threat today. Overnight we could have a few more storms, especially after midnight. And with all the moisture in the air, be prepared for some locally dense fog to develop once again, staying warm tonight near 70. Tomorrow, still going to need those umbrellas. Scattered thunderstorms with highs near 78 degrees, staying humid for one more day. But as we head toward the middle of the week, we get some big time improvements. Sunshine returns to the forecast, and that will be a welcome sight. Dew points will be dropping for the rest of the week, so it's going to be fun to head outdoors <laughs> with highs in the 70s to near 80. So far for the weekend, we've actually slowed that next system down. The latest computer model showing possibly the rain holding off until Sunday and in Monday now. Uh, big weekend coming That's up. Right. So the pressure is on. Saturday to be dry. There you go. Absolutely. Yep. Don't we? Yes, we know all about that. Thank